Okay, hello YouTube, my name is LifeRally.com and this will be a video on how to uh, connect multiple power supplies. Now what I have in front of me are two shitty supplies and uh, you probably won't be using these but just for the test, for the sake of it, they're okay I guess. Okay, so what I will be doing is showing you how to connect, uh, well again, multiple power supplies. What you need to do is actually short circuit these two wires, the green one and well any black one and these two wires actually make contact when they make contact um, you can uh, they, they turn on the power supply any ATX power supply. So what I have in front of me is uh, another power supply. Now, as I said, they are both shitty, so I don't mind destroying them destroying them for the cause, because, well, first of all, I do not need them, and second of, second of all, they are faulty, so, uh, okay, I need a scalpel, and what I will be doing is peeling this wire. Now, bear in mind that if I were doing this thing uh, for real, I would solder it, but this is just for the, uh, for the sake of the demonstration. And there is really no need uh, to buy uh, well anything off of eBay. Okay, if, if you're lazy, I guess then it is okay to buy. But as you can see, I've uh, removed the uh, plastic from these two wires, and I will be doing the same thing on uh, this power supply as well. As you can see, this is actually a rather thin wire, so. Fortran was saving some money. Okay, so what's this? Okay, this one got scraped under the accent. I think it's actually broken or something like that. <coughs> now the next thing I will be doing is uh, cutting this wire. So basically, peel this one, peel this one, and peel this one. Now before I bought these pliers, I was peeling wires with my teeth, which is Trust me, a bad idea. So now what you should do is connect the green one to the green one. And I'll be making a couple of rounds around the wire just so that it makes contact. So basically this is part one and this is the uh, other supply. Now bear in mind that you can connect any one of these to the motherboard and it is important that you uh, connect the green wire to the green wire and the black wire to the black wire. Black wire is negative. It's ground and this one is contact. So, once you do that, you're all ready to go. Basically that is it. If your mother shuts down for any reason, the other power supply will shut down. Unfortunately, if one power supply fails, the second one uh, your system will crash but nothing more than that and basically that is it when you buy th those cables off of eBay that is basically what they do so I will be connecting these two to the power supply if I can find some cables believe it or not I don't have any cables at the moment I will, and I will be finding a motherboard motherboard and showing you that it actually works okay by some magic I actually found two cables and so I'll be hooking to my power supply now there is actually a smarter way to do it, uh, there is in my video, uh, it is with relays, so basically you hook, hook up relays to the uh, main power supply and if the main power supply fails, everything shuts down. Now this is, I guess it is an okay way, but uh, as you can see, I don't know whether you can see it or not, but these power supplies are turned off. Okay, and now I will be making a connection between, sorry, I will be making connection between the green wire and the black wire. And as you can hear, both, okay, both of the power supplies are now shut down. Now let me get the motherboard just to see whether this thing works with the motherboard or not but it, as I said it should because this is the uh, what they use when they sell you 
connectors from off of eBay. And I have in here a motherboard, which I will be connecting to this. Now, to be honest, I'm not sure even whether this thing motherboard works or not, but let's see. Maybe it's due to the wiring. I try to turn it on. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, this power supply is connected. The fan is spinning, this one is spinning, and this one is spinning as well. So let me show you. And this one. So there you have it. And uh, yeah, that basically works. So that is pretty much it. Well, I hope you learned something today, and bye bye.